Hey guys, welcome back. It is episode 4 of Tropico 6, sponsored by PlumeriaPlus.com. Use promo code TROPICO to get 25% off. Okay, let's let's put this into second gear to start things off with, just to get things speedy speedy. We are making absolute crap tons of money. It's just, it's nuts. And the only thing we're waiting for before we start switching things over is... Um, having one of these uh, one of these world wonders so in anticipation of that getting here I'm gonna put another newspaper here to deal with this housing we've got one here to get this housing uh, cluster there's only six up here so I'm not gonna fool with that unless I need to but I'm gonna switch them over to the independent matter of fact I'm gonna switch crank you up I switch you over to the independent now to start moving revolutionaries forward if it starts getting too high before we get ooh are you back did i did i hit this at the right time tell me that i got you don't tell me there's any more problems with logs or waiting planks i guess sorry oh, they didn't think we'd ever get back <laughs> It's a thousand miles from Samaritan to the nearest sea, and that's the Caspian Sea. It's landlocked. <laughs> okay. Nice. Okay, so we got it. Bam. Oh, and these cost tons and tons of money. 10,000 to build. Ooh, but I can put it right here. Right? Is that... Oh, no. But I can build it over here. Or build it here. Let's build it. I'm gonna build it here. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is a blimp. Is it blimping this whole thing in? Oh, just one building. Still. That's silly. Can I road around that thing nice sweet Redison of Samarkand so this is going to make everybody born have a high school education that's going to be hopefully nice okay so that's done we should be doing the loot raid okay now you're on to the independent you are onto the independent let's start cranking this number up this will start going let's only be doing how many do I have to trade so far oh I've got two available I can do the rum in large quantities the rest of this we'll do in small quantities uh, the only reason why is because <clears throat> Soon we're going to be at war. Because that's what... Well, okay. I don't have to be. If you don't want to be. But I know how the how the progression to the next area goes. And I already know what I'm going to choose. And it's war! We are going to fight. Fight for our independence. Because we're a colony right now. We're not having that. Oh. Also, I can pop this. I am always looking for ways to make our export business more efficient. And... The biggest problem is that hmm. big boats are so slow. Well, we can squeeze a few knots out of every vessel if we wax the hull to reduce drag and switch from diesel engines to wither shins. It will cost a little more in maintenance, but more speed means quicker export money. Yes, I like it. So, give me that. And then uh, this increases job quality of each workplace by 15% decreases the efficiency of all workplaces by 12 decreases the pollution of all workplaces by 10 <sighs> I want to I'm going to pop this popular with the people just to get it leveled and and I'm going to pop uh, this just Work. to get it leveled so we'll take a, a, a pay cut a little well, bit here. The right thing. Give you? me money. From now on, all I want from you is money for finishing these. 
Hopefully we can get 13 in 8 years. I'll do a big load of sugar, actually. I've got more. Do a medium load of tobacco. I know I said I'd do them all small. <laughs> I'll do a small one of coffee. 500. We're half a million. We're 10 times what we started with, and we're on episode 4. I figured out the sugar exploit. This is like stupid early game. Of course, we do have a lot of production coming from all this too, which is finished product leather. Just avoid the tannery. Issuing the edicts for the housing and doing those in bulk and saving half on each one. Because you have to build a certain amount for that to actually pay off. If you do it and you only build six, it's not it's not worth it. So It's nice to have choices, isn't it? A choice is like... Yeah, okay, coffee again? Oh no, big boy rum. Big boy sugar. I bet you I've got a ton of these. One, two, three... But this one's... Nope. That's fine. We'll do big boy sugars all over the place. We just seem to have a ton of it. And these seem to be sitting steady at 4,000. So that's good. So we've got that. That's taken care of. We're not getting it all out, though. Hmm. How do I feel about that? And what can I do to fix it? Because you guys are moving a lot. I don't have any Teamsters office up here. That's what will change. Um, That just feels smart because I can put something here, a bridge or something, and it'll hit this and then anything I decide to expand through up here. I think that's smart. Oh, so close. This is going to move as we switch into the next era. That'll be one of the first things I do. Okay. Come on, revolutionaries. Did I switch you to the independent? I did. Should I build another one? You know what? I've got the space for it. Yep, right here. And you'll influence all this. Ooh, you're empty. Hey, look how much, how many planks you have. Okay, yeah, we totally needed this. There's a rum contract. Say, glad to be Give me the money. If we get to like two years, I'll start f filling it if we don't have the revolutionaries by then. But with this one, that should hit the entire populace. We don't have another thing to expand you. You just, oh man, you were cranking things out. You know what? I'm going to splurge early. Oh, you're not going to let me attach you, are you? Okay. There. There, we'll do that. We'll put another dock at the other end of the island. That's a, <laughs> not even the other end. It's just here. I got the money to throw at it. Why wouldn't we? It'll start cranking things out faster, maybe. Take some, some load off of these Teamsters. I don't know. Oh, we only had 11,000 there. Oh, are we starting to hit this? Oh, oh, oh. Nope. It's nice to have choices, isn't it? A choice is like... Do we have a big rum? Big rum. Big boy rum. Uh, let's do medium boy tobacco. Oh, no. Can't. Oh, we're not filling any of the sugar anymore because we're... Oh, no, never mind. There's 600. So, yeah, we're filling sugar. Oh, also, we got double freighter. I must say I'm glad. Give me the money. We're, wow, nice. Now there's two coming in. 
also, let's take this dock and upgrade. Well, not upgrade, but give it more money, make it more efficient. Let's let's crank it out, boys. Okay, 50 revolutionaries. It's been two years. Oh, it's because I'm on this loot raid still. Um, you're on a mission, right? Which you're returning from. So this should be done. Oh, look, hey, there they are. Bing. Viva la revolucion. Now give me 10 revolutionary immigrants, which I probably won't, but whatever. There's 44 there. Okay, five years. I have I have one open. I might actually extend it's it. It's nice to have choices, isn't it? It's too big boy rum. Big boy rum. I love it. <laughs> Slums here already, huh? Guess I should have seen that coming. Now these are. F oh no, these are still half. Okay. Bam. Let's knock those out, and then. Ah. Uh, no. Uh. Mm. I'm not sure. I don't know if I don't. If I want to do that or not. So. Oof. We'll wait. Oh, look, this has reached level two. Okay, so I can turn you off. I'll put the efficiency back up. Oh, now my stuff is going down. Okay, so they want another chapel, which I'm going to demolish you. Five, four, okay, and then build a chapel. Nice. We'll crank that out. Come on, revolutionaries, 55. And five years. Okay, five years left, so I got to get one a year, and this should give me quote unquote 10. Oh, there's 56. Our revolution is as yet only give me 10. Which should put me at 60, but... And then, same with... Ugh, thank you. I must say, I'm Give me the money. I said I was going to do it, but I don't think I need it. I think we'll hit this. I'll upgrade 7. Huh. Big money. There's 57. Okay, come on, 58, nice. You're so close. I ask myself, Governor, do the end. Complete a loot raid. Loot more coffee, corn, and gold. Oh, 48. There's a coffee done. Oh, we're at six and a half hundred thousand. 652, oh. It's nice to have choices. Give me big boy rum. No, no big boy rum. That's fine. I'll wait. We'll fulfill something else, I promise. The boats are coming in. So I wonder if the attack is going to come from up here. Where all these boats are coming from. Come on, where are we at? Oh, new task. There it is. Okay. The people of Tropical love you almost as much as I do, Governor. We have such exquisite <laughs> taste. Okay, so, but we do not understand why we still take orders from the Crown when we have the best possible leader in all the world right here. And on completely unrelated note, I was idly scribbling with my quill and found that I had inadvertently drafted this Declaration of Independence. Perhaps you might like to sign it, Governor? Declare independence, prepare for war, or declare independence and pay the ground crown. And it's not like we couldn't. We have like the mark of the beast hundred thousand dollars, but they can stuff that fifteen thousand. Bam. Now, so 
No, I'm gonna continue to do that. Here. Feisty little colony, aren't we? We'll try not to crush your spirits too comprehensively. Here's how this works. I give you this piece of paper which says we're going to invade and you have a very short period of time to regret your ill-judged decisions and our navy overruns your pathetic defenses with a superior discipline, weaponry, and haircuts. Perhaps we'll meet again at your execution, Governor. So we have a time to prepare for war. So I could get greedy and plop down another fort, but we already have one here. And we have one here. And we have the crown crown the palace which and I mean look at this these guys are like on the rooftops they're on the rooftops so we don't have really much to do is there anything else I want to build no yes actually tobacco hey tobacco Oh, you guys are off by one. Uh, brr. hmm. Okay, I think this is the smarter decision here. And here. And here. So that'll be Tobacco Road. Because we're going to start rolling cigars in the next era. Because if you guys have noticed... Where is it? Cigar Factory. Processes tobacco to produce cigars. Emits little pollution. Rum, cigars... Like, dude, well, like, this is the tropics. These are the things that you're supposed to produce to make this, like, even close to accurate. Mmm. Tropico cigars, mwah. They're the best. Tropico rum, mwah. It's the best. El Presidente said so. <laughs> Alright, let's see. How's this war going? We're getting there. We are getting there. You know what? F it. Let's build another fort. Almost want to auto build you, but I'll let it go. We've got half a year to get you up and I'm yeah, I just I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna build another fort. Pfft, why not? Look how much money we have. I'd be, I, it's so funny if, if we have a million dollars when we hit the next era. I'm gonna, I'm gonna laugh. I know it's not gonna happen. There's no way. We'll probably top seven hundred thousand though. Whoa, give me a stretch. There it is. Seven hundred thousand. Hi. You know that feels good. Oh, it's a little under, but that's fine. The next freighter that comes in will top us off, and we'll probably never stop. And then this is coming in. And here's a freighter for that. I like that. Viva la revolucion! Together, governor. Give me money. <laughs> okay, a bunch of money and stuff. Da -da -da. There it is. 729,000. Oh, nice. Plus more immigrants. You know what? I'm not filling anymore. Let's do big boy rum. Because we still have a bunch of these sugars going. Which we may not be doing so much of now because I think we're keeping this pretty much full. It's rum that we sh we've, we're just mass producing. Oh, besides, war is coming, so we're not going to get any of those fulfilled. Oh, well. We may not even get the rum fulfilled. I like how they're still taking stuff from us. We're still doing trade, even though we're at war. you think they would just be taking it, not paying us. Oh, come on, land. Land before this hits. Thank you. Oh, nice. 
Okay. Governor, the people have a request. Before... Okay. Where are they? Oh, oh, there they are. They are landing right here. I'm glad I built this other fort. What are they attacking? Oh, they're coming after the lump mill, huh? Okay. They're making landfall. Are they going to go by the fort? Doesn't look like it, does it? Okay, they've got a squad out. They've got a squad out. And they've got a squad coming out. So the, the um, see, I see the palace is. I, I thought about it, and the reason I built this is because the palace doesn't actually send people anywhere, and the fort does. So I, in, in, in essence, only had two. Because if they didn't come through here, and I'm only thinking of them coming by the port, but they're not going to land here. I don't think there's room. That's why they maybe landed here. I don't know. But we've set up defensive positions with two squads, and backup is actually almost as far away as them so they may get there at the same time so as long as they don't switch targets oh we're going to meet them with a squad that may not be the greatest idea oh get on the other side of the street guys yeah go back up this squad uh oh hey 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 get in there and fight Okay, it's going down right here in the fields. Our revolution is as yet only marginal. Give me the money. Give me the money. Tropico is attacked by the crown. Oh no, we've lost two guys. Squads of four, they've lost one. They've lost one. Oh here, there's my second squad. Nice, get some other fire in. Nice, nice, nice. And the other squad should come and back them up to replace the squad that just died. Yes, okay, we should win this fight now. Two almost full, well, yeah, two full squads. And you guys are laying down concentrated fire, it looks like. Okay, good, good, good. So th this is probably, oh no, not a full squad anymore. Yeah, we got this. Nice, this, this was a clutch. I needed the third thing, or else we wouldn't have made it. Oh, well, here comes another squad. Oh, and another squad. Well, I suppose you did rather well for a bunch of savages. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> nice, that's funny. My heart swells with joy as I greet my fearless leader for the first time as El President. Nice. Okay, so... Uh, why? It's a hazardous period for a fledgling nation to take flight from the colony colonial nest. It is time of wars and sequels to wars. A time to fortify to think about electrification and industry to train doctors to fix health problems caused by that industry. <laughs> There's much to be done. Okay. Doug, relations with four political factions that shape public opinion, sided with one of two opposing superpowers, send commandos on raids to suppress guerrillas and keep superpowers from attacking. Tell me more. Build power plants, build ministry, create and amend a constitution, build bridges and tunnels to utilize public transportation, fight fire, crime, and disease with public services, raise an army of the dead to defend Tropico. What? No, I'm kidding. Um, cater the needs of people to avoid protests and get enough supporters for elections by means or to cancel it all together. Here we go, guys. I'm going to pause. I'm going to mute my mic for this. For I, General Rodrigo Rodriguez, lead your army. The very model of a modern armchair general, my lack of direct wartime experience gives me the edge, as my stratagems are completely unadulterated by any knowledge of past battles. I can therefore guarantee that the enemy will be surprised. Let me guess. You're thinking, f a nun. <laughs> I better not swear. You have no idea what a sister of the Order of the Howling Skull is, do you, Presidente? Or how one wound up on your tropical island, ministering to her flock? I'm Sister Francesca, and I've walked a long path to enlightenment with faith as my guide. 
But that's a different story. The comrades wish me to introduce you to all of them personally, Presidente, because none of us are more important than the others. But that would take a long time, so I will somehow strive to represent all of the comrades all of the time. I am not Marco Moreno, proud communist and family man. No, I am the very will of the people. I'll be with you in a minute, Presidente. I'm just counting my money. <laughs> Only joking. I wouldn't be with you in this lifetime if I had to count my fortune first. Mason Belmonte is the name, and money loves me, Presidente. And you know what? The more I have, the more I want. Do not be concerned by my physical severity, Presidente. I have a condition of the face muscles, which means that I cannot smile. Nevertheless, our relationship shall be a friendly one. It is preferable that what benefits the Axis benefits Tropico. However, if for some reason it does not, you shall comply anyway. Hmm? In this way we shall be friendly. Tja? What's that? Oh, Presidente! That's a relief. For a second there I thought you were the Hun. <laughs> Can't be too careful. That's what the propaganda says and I should know I write it. <laughs> Sit down. Pour yourself a drink. I'm Winton Morgan. Very pleased to meet you. Perhaps you can help me lose this damned war a little slower, eh? Okay, so these are the political factions I have to deal with, and then obviously these are the superpowers I've got to side with one or the other. So, oh, and this is our constitution. So we can change our voting rights, which does all citizens vote. Uh, all adult citizens are allowed to vote. Um, Employees of government buildings vote for El Presidente regardless of their approval. For those with an approval uh, uh, below 45%, they might turn rebel with a chance of this is increased by 10. So, ooh, and then only wealthy citizens vote. Only citizens that have an economic wealth of well-off or higher are allowed to vote. Broke and poor citizens' chance to turn rebel is increased by 10. I like this. And then we have armed forces, pacifist state, disables all military buildings, which we're not going to do, so I'm not even going to read this. Who cares? No way. We're not pacifist. Anyway, militia soldiers require no education in case of military conflict. Each barracks will provide one militia squad. Uh, and then soldiers are required to have at least high school education. Damage of squads is increased by 10%. Military standing is increased by 10 So let's do... Let's do professional soldiers, because we, they get a high school education if they're children. So that'll help us out with that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is call it here. We are, it's probably a short episode, because we uh, we were just waiting. But I'm, I'm, I really want to get deep into the World War era. So we will see you in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed. Look at the rum corner. Also, before I forget, let's change Penny Saver and... Let's change Penny Saver, and let's actually just destroy you. I don't want one up there. I really don't even need one here, but I'm just, I'm gonna keep the two. So, oh, also, I'm gonna control, click. Did that actually do it for all of them? Yes. So we've upgraded all the Teamsters offices to have a second shift, which is really going to help with production. Do you have any upgrades? Those are electric stills. Sugar, do you have upgrades? Yes, look at this. This is going to work on all of them, so we're going to control and click that. This is nothing for the tobacco, huh? Okay, okay. Oh, let me start on this too. These two were for the Constitution, so we're going to do these first. And then we're going to do... Clinic, these two, Martial Law, the Police Station, Radio. Okay, so this is so we can amend the, the, the pol uh, how people work in our Constitution. And this is their religious beliefs in the Constitution. So if you go ch 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 here, it'll open up these two. Right? So we can see how people are required to work and how people are required to pray then research that's where we were 
Uh, this is going to open the work mode for the clinic, police station, and actually not the radio station, the newspaper. Not, no, not the newspaper, the house. Why not? And then uh, these two, this cancels elections, and it will increase my standing with the military by 30, which we're kind of, I'm hoping I can side with. <clears throat> and uh, each military building reduces crime, just like a police station. Employees of military buildings arrest criminal, uh, criminals, increases the liberty penalty of military buildings by 40%, increases military, so yeah, these are all military things that I want to do, because I want to be a military tropical state. Viva la tropical. Anyway, we'll see you in the next one, guys. Later.